theatre perform waiting for you. Please give a huge Osborne welcome to the one and only Seal. <laughs> Every day, a shade of blue. You won't believe what I'm going through. It just feels like I can't afford to let myself go. No, 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 no. Everyone is just the same. That's what you are. You're burning me like a shining star. How am I supposed to be the king without you? Oh, oh, it's true, baby. Well, <laughs> exactly. Um, as such is the nature of, you know, uh, promoting an album and, and doing a tour. We're on tour at the moment. We started on Friday. Yeah, so they're knackered. And, uh, they're knackered, yeah, yeah, in a word or two. Um, we played in Vegas last night. We actually, f instead of staying in Vegas, we flew home uh, late last night. And um, the crew had to set up here. So I can imagine they're really exhausted. No, they're welcome to sleep in these beds <laughs> anytime, guys. Knock yourself out. <laughs> um, we met only, it's got to be about a month ago now. Yes, yeah. yes, we did meet. In fact, it was a very memorable experience. I've got a bone to pick with you. So I'm standing there, right? We're at this charity event. And I'm standing on stage with Sharon. And I think it's a really nice, really lovely woman. You know, I think, God, she's so pleasant. And we're taking a picture together. All of a sudden, I feel this huge grope on my left cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Then I kind of and of course, it. And of course, I couldn't say anything. I mean, not that it was a terrible experience or anything. Like no, that. but you were thinking, oh, what a nice little housewife she is, and suddenly, yes. 
<laughs> and I was just saying, when I went over to give you a cuddle after you were singing, you're very hard everywhere. <laughs> it's nice, though, very firm and hard. It's lovely. Do you work it is? out? Oh, I run a lot. You do? Yes. So how come it's taken you so long to deliver this album? Um, just trying to find the songs that matter, you know. Um, I, whenever I'm asked this question, I always say that it's very easy to write an album or to make a record um, if that's all you want to do. But if you want to make music that connects with people, that resonates with people, um, as well as yourself, then it's slightly more involved. And it just takes me longer than, uh, than most to, to get that, yeah, to, to, to listen to something, to, to make something which is consistent that I can listen to and say, well, okay, I really believe that. And it, and, and it has longevity. It takes me a little longer than, than others. And I, I really do prefer artists like that because then it's like a, you get like a jewel. It's, it's more of a jewel and it's like the anticipation well, exactly. to wait for it. Because there's a lot of artists that can turn out one record after another. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I've heard that on the other one. You know what I'm saying? I've not heard that song before. And well, it's like a, a disco version. I've, all, you know, I've always been interested in making records that last a long time. I don't, I'm not really interested in... Fashion. Or, or just putting things out for the sake of being in the public yeah, cause, eye. Yeah, oh, because you've got a commitment to the record company, so the record's due, so bang something out, which is yeah. the old... I, mu I must say that the record company have been really supportive in my... and very patient mm -hmm. in them. Um, you know, in this whole album making process. And so I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones. I mean, I'm sure not all record companies are like that, but the Warner Brothers and Sisters have been yeah, they've really been good. Yeah, they've been really good to me. But anyway, so how are, are you? Are you two charity? You've got a, you're donating half of this seal four well, to a that, children's <laughs> charity. That. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Well. I mean, it, I'm sure meant with the best intentions, but that's a, a very slight exaggeration there. Not half. Um, it sounds better. Just keep it at half, a half. But, um, a lot of the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, half does sound better, doesn't it? It does. A lot of the proceeds to, uh, from, from my tour uh, at, at this point uh, that I'm doing at the moment are going to uh, um, a children's charity. And is that for abused children? Uh, yes. Homeless um, and abused. And homeless and abused children. I mean, having not had the most functional of uh, uh, childhood experiences myself. Um, you connect you know, with it. Well, yeah, and I think anything that uh, anything to do with children um, or the betterment of children, but, you know, I mean, it's the old adage, isn't it? They are our future. So I think that um, any efforts that can be directed in that, uh, you know, in, in, into the children, into our future, um, uh, are really best served in that area. Um, so anything to do with children is, is very close to my heart. Do you I mean, want I'll, to have always, children? Yeah. You I do? Mean, I'd, um, you know, I'm 40 now. I'll be 41 in February, so... I guess I better start thinking about it at some point. I've got a couple of nice girls at oh, home yeah. for you. <laughs> right? If yeah. you're thinking about settling <laughs> <Really>? down, yes. <laughs> I've got a blonde and a brunette. You can take your pick, really? right? <laughs> you could have gorgeous babies with my girls. Oh, I could? Yes. <laughs> I'll fix you up. <laughs> you will? Yes, I'll, no problem. Right, I'll remind you of that. I will. Well, it's that or Aussie. That's the choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Seal bought a special gift for us today. And what it is, is it's a pair of tickets for Seal's L.A. show. And we're going to pick a name. You do it. Right. Do I have to pick two? No. OK, well, number 78. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations! You and a friend to go to Seal Two. It's at Anaheim, right? At the House uh, yes. of Blues. Yes, it is. Anaheim House of Blues. Love. Seal Four and 